this as a lock button, please. And I just learned um, a great new trick from a user on Reddit named Modesit or something like that. I'll put their name in the in the descriptions. And that is how to put bases, how to put base computers inside of a room, inside of a prefab room. I knew before how to put one into a simple uh, room, like one made out of wood or metal or or what's the third one? Wood, metal, or, or concrete. But this is a technique for using a glitch to put one inside of a prefab room. The trick to start out with is to put your base on a little bit of a hill. So get out your train manipulator, put it into create mode, and I like to do this by making uh, something as small as possible. But so I, I, I put my create little ball there down to as small as possible, and I create a little hill, about like so. And you put your base computer on top of that. Ah, someday I'll know where to put the, I know where to get the base computer on the first try. Stick it on top of there, and then activate it. And now that you can build, you have your computer up on this little hill. I like to back up a little bit, and I go into my build menu, and then I activate the build camera so I can move around freely. You go into your structures, and you get a floor panel, a wood, metal, or concrete floor panel. And you can just slide it right in there until it turns green, and then install it. Doing this method, you can then build a base around it. And it's nice inside. Little tiny western cabin base room here. But the trick I learned today on Reddit is how to put it into a prefab. So the trick with glitch building, and I'm not going to go into glitch building a lot because it's a pretty complicated topic, but if you have a building, if you have an object that you want to build that's in a green state like this, you see it's green here, but if I try to put it up, well, if I try to put it in my, <laughs> okay, I can't get it into a brown, or into a, but if, if it's in a red state, a place where you can't build it because it's on top of that green crate, then you can't do this. You need to get it into a green state. Once it's into a green straight state, you hit on a PS4, you hit L2, and you get the menu here on the bottom where you can switch from delete something, report a base, or to place a wire. It's the wire you, you want. So then you move your wire, that little wire ind indication, that, that green little circle, where you want to build the object. And I'm going to sneak it right in there underneath the base computer. Then as fast as you can, switch from L2 to R2. Didn't work that time. I'll try it again. Green state. Hit L2. Put it down where you want it. And then switch to R2. And then you have glitched your way into a base computer inside of a prefab. The hardest thing to get down in your learning build is the rhythm or the pattern that you use in order to get the building to glitch into place. It's as, as, as fast as possible, like I said. One way to think about it, though, is if, you are, uh, if you've learned to melee boost like this, when you hit the, the melee button and then the boost button almost immediately after in order to jump a long way, that's the speed that you're talking about when you want to glitch build. It's not at exactly the same time, but just a very, very split s second after. One technique that I heard someone else say is that you put down your object, 
that, that you want to build, you, you, you get it in, into the green state, you hold down the first button uh, on PS4, it's L2, you move the thing in, you move the, the wire uh, uh, green little uh, square, square, circle icon into place then at the as you're holding down l2 hold push down r2 as well so you have them both down and then release them both and press r2 again right away they put down r2 as well as r1 just to make the pattern a little bit e easier to hit And now I've glitched a circular <laughs> building onto the side of another. But think of melee boosting. That's the pattern you need in order to build uh, with the glitch technique. Again, I did not make this up myself. I learned it on Reddit from uh, the user Modesit. I learned this first to put an aquarium onto a wooden floor, and I have since used it to go on to build uh, a radio telescope, for instance, and there are a number of really, really neat bases built with glitch building that you can find using the tag glitch build or glitch building. So thank you very much for your time, and have a great day.